Hi, I'm Steve Gibson of Southern Draw Kayak Fishing in Sarasota, Florida. I'm going to be talking about nymphing in Florida's fresh waters, a technique that has been very good to me over the years. When I first started fly fishing in this state, I was like most others. I'd tie on a popping bug and stay out until the fish quit hitting. When that happened, it was time to go home. I learned about nymph fishing after spending time on northern cold water streams. It was very productive and I figured since many of Florida's freshwater fish ate insects, nymphing should be a great technique. I found it to be amazing. I've caught loads of big bluegills, shellcracker, speckled perch, peacock bass, Mayan cichlid, stump knocker, warmouth perch, largemouth bass, oscar, gar, channel catfish, and other species. When a topwater bite slows, I pull out a nymph and I usually start catching. For nymphing, I use TFO finesse rods from a half to two weight. I use a floating line, four pound tippet, and a strike indicator. I've had friends tell me that they'll never use a strike indicator because it's just like fishing live worms under a bobber. I don't see the comparison, but I do know I catch lots of fish. The strike indicator allows you to control the depth of the nymph. I cast it out, allow it to sink, then give it an occasional twitch. It usually doesn't take long for the indicator to go under. You can probably use a variety of small sinking spider-like flies. I use a simple nymph that I call Gibby's Snymph. I tie it on a number 12 or number 10 hook. I first put on a gold or copper bead, tie in a small clump of squirrel tail for the tail, then dub a body of hairline dubbin hairs ear, hair's ear plus. I like natural, brown, and olive. I'm sure other colors will work as well. Florida's exotic species seem to love nymphs too. Here I'm fishing a lake near Naples and catching Mayan cichlid. Mayans are fast, hard fighting, and loads of fun on the fly. I've caught them up to nearly 16 inches on nymphs. Other exotics can be caught on nymphs too. Although I don't use nymphs when targeting peacock bass, I've caught plenty of the colorful fish while nymphing. I've also taken loads of Oscar. As you can see, peacock bass will take a nymph. Like I said earlier, nymphs aren't my fly of choice when targeting peacocks, but they do work. I've been surprised numerous times by these hard-fighting, colorful imports. The state of Florida stocked peacock bass into South Florida lakes in 1984, and they're very popular fly rod targets.
You don't think of catfish as a fly rod fish, however, channel catfish will readily hit a fly, and these whiskered brutes seem to love nymphs. I catch channel cats on fly at Benderson Lake near my home in Sarasota, on Lake Manatee, and on the Manatee River. I've taken as many as 22 channel cats in an outing. Bass will eat nymphs too. I lost a big bass at the kayak in this scene while fishing a bayou off the Manatee River. The bass in the last photo is a three pound bass that I caught on Lake Manatee a few years before I started videoing. If you fish Florida's fresh waters or think you might fish Florida's fresh waters in the near future, give nymphs a try. You won't regret it.
As always, I'm fishing out of my new Canoe Pursuit, the best kayak for fly fishing on the market. Its spacious cockpit is wide open and a perfect stripping basket for your fly line. The Pursuit paddles easily and features four tubes into which you can stow your valuable fly rod safely.